Om Namah Shri my dear students today I am going to start a new chapter that is tuples so let's start our class for today first that is the introduction part python tuples are sequence that are used to store a tuple of values of any types so basically tuples is also used to store multiple values of any type you have learned in the earlier chapter mm -hmm. that is python tuples are immutable and python tuples these are the immu in immutable that's been we cannot change the value of the tuples you can change the element of the tuples in place python will create a fresh tuple when you are make change to any element of the tuple so if you want to make the change of tuple then python will create a new tuple tuple is a type of sequence like string and list but it differs from them in the way that lists are mutable but strings and tuples are immutable so that is the difference between list versus string and tuples this chapter is dedicated to basic tuple manipulations in python we shall be talking about creating and accessing tuple various tuple operation and tuple manipulations through some built-in functions so go to next page first thing is there that is creating and accessing tuples so here we will learn that how to create tuples tuple is a standard data type of python that can store sequence of value belonging to any type so it's basically a sequence of value and it can be any types of value and here we are using the parenthesis this is the round bracket okay so here is respect to the parentheses that is a round brackets following following other some tuples in the python so there are some example is there for tuples first one we can see there is no value within this parenthesis so we can say this is the empty tuple so tuple with no member this is an empty tuple second one that is the, we see the value that is one two three so this type of tuple is basically called the integer tuples next one it's basically the mix of value there is a integer as well as float value is there so one th uh, nine these are the integer and 2.5 3.7 these are the float point floating point value next one that is the character tuple so here we can see the value that is abc next one is a mix here we get character value integer value again character value floating value and string value and this one two three these are all of the string tuple okay so these are the different example of the tuple is there most important thing is that is step tuples are the immutable it means we cannot change the value of the tuples in their positions or in their place next part is there that is a creating tuple so here we create tuple so creating a tuple is similar to list creation but here you need to put number of expressions in parentheses that is use round brackets to indicate the start and end of the tuple and the separate them by the comma so here we can we create a tuple with the round bracket and we can define multiple value within the tuple and we can use also the comma to separate the values example that is 2 2 comma 4 comma 6 abc comma dea so abc these values are within the quotation that means this is the string value again comma def is also within the quotation so this is the first string value second string value okay so these are the also the integer and floating number is there and this one is the empty tuple so here we create a tuple we write this one that is t equals to just uh, starting bracket and ending bracket so that's when this t is a empty tuple and here t with some value so these are the some value based tuple so in this way we can create a tuple to create a tuple you will just have to use the round bracket this type of parenthesis okay next one that is an that we can see at here it is empty tuple the empty tuple is this one it is the tuple equivalent to zero or quotation no value is there within the quotation that's been only the space that's been only space is there you can also create an empty tuple using this statement so if t equals to tuple within parent and next you define the parentheses so here using tuple this keyword you can also create a tuple otherwise if you write only t equals to this round bracket that is another way to create the tuple so basically there are two way to create a tuple first one that is t equals to within 
t equals to some value within some parenthesis uh, value within uh, this round bracket so that is the first way and second way using this double keyword so i repeat this one when you define some value within this round bracket that's when you create a tuple that's the first way and second way using tuple keyword you can also create the tuple but here the parenthesis that is a round one next one that's a single element tuple single element tuple means here we create a tuple with single value so look at the example here we define it is t equals to one within this round bracket and after that when you go when you go to print this t, t you get this value as one so making a tuple with a single element is uh, tricky it's tricky because if you just give a single element it round bracket python considered is a value only so python here gets the value so to construct this one here here one will be get the value of this t tuple another uh, next is that here using we are using the comma uh, we just add the comma after get after the value so that so that it will be in uh, you can create a tuple with the single value so to construct a tuple with one element just add a comma after the single element and show them below so here we define t equals to t comma this this is basically the variable here t is just only the variable so after that when we define this t here we get t we can see this t come within the parenthesis so that's mean it will become a tuple next we define t2 within the parenthesis we define four comma only we define four comma at here no allows value is there so after that when you print this one that is t2 then we get this four comma this value is come in our output and this thing you have to run in the python shell only okay if you go to python script then you have to write the print statement at here to print this t2 value so in this way we can sing, uh, create the single element tuple next one that is a long tuple so long tuple here we can see here we define a tuple within this round bracket with the lots of value in this way you can create a long tuples if a tuple contain many element then to enter such long tuple then to enter such way you can split across the several line as given in the below you can so if your value is lots that value you can define in the separate line notice that opening parenthesis and the closing parenthesis appear just the beginning and the end of the tuple that's thing you have to define it as a or starting bracket or the opening parenthesis and the ending parenthesis that you have to define next one that is a nested tuple so nested tuple if a tuple contain an element which is a tuple itself then it is called a nested tuple so if you define a tuple within another tuple that type of tuple it will be called a nested tuple that is following at here look at the example here we define t1 equals to within parenthesis we define 1 2 again we define another parenthesis and the value is t4 so basically there are three values there first one second one and third one third one is basically the combination of three and four these two values and we already know that we are using the parenthesis this round parenthesis for the to define a tuple so that's mean these values are the tuple values so we define a tuple within another tuple so a tuple t1 has three element that is 1 2 and 3 comma 4 the third element of tuple t1 is tuple itself so here t1 is basically called the nested tuple so here these two values are the tuple itself so here it here this t1 is will be called be as nested tuples because we define tuple tuple within another tuple next one that is creating tuple from existing sequence next you can create a tuple using this tuple keyword okay that I already i explain you at here next you can also create tuple from some sequence so you can also use built-in tuple type object that is tuple to create tuple from a from sequence as per the given statement or syntax below so here we define t equals to tuple and sequence sequence means the number of the value so in this way you can define a tuple where sequence can be any kinds of sequence like you know object including string list tuples that's it so sequence it can be as an integer float uh, or any type of uh, string list tup and tuples also python create the individual element of the tuple from the individual element of past sequence if you pass in 
another tuple the tuple function makes a copy consider this following example here we define t1 equals to tuple hello and next we are going to print this t1 we get that all the value of this hello all the letters is basically become an individual and it will be create a tuple and they are a comma separate and this it will become the value of the comma separator tuple t1 is created from another sequence as string hello is it generate individual element from the individuals next we define one list at here with this uh, third bracket that is a square bracket we get, define lots of value now we define this l this list as a tuple we define at here next we see that's all the value at here as individual separately so that's mean if you define some string type of value that value will be separated sequence it will be become a separated sequence of value and if you define some list or some other tuple uh, that is already individual that will be also be an individual value okay go to next page you can see this method of creating tuple of single uh, character or single digit via keyboard input so here we just write to uh, line at here to take some value from the user so we define input enter tuple element and we define all the value as a tuple mm -hmm. so user give this value two three four five six seven and when you print this one that is t1 we get all the values of the separator value now if you give suppose here you give 23 next space 45 next space 67 so that's when all these values are the separated 23 45 and 67 but here we will get all the value in this way so for to overcome this problem you have to use that eval function so look at here see the tuple around input even if you uh, if you not put parentheses it will be created tuple using individual character as element the most commonly used method to input tuple is the eval input so most common way as we, as we already know we are using eval function when we are take some value from the user in the list chapter the same way if you want to take some value from as a tuple from user then you also define it as a eval so eval input enter the tuple print tuple at here we just whatever the value we are getting from the user just print that value so here this thing is come at here enter tuple to add it so here we define the value 2 4 a individually this thing next we define a j k j l next 3 4 so when you print this value we get all the values as user is given in the same way okay so that's why we are using eval function to take any value from the users so if you are inputting a tuple with eval then make sure to enclose the tuple element in the parentheses that is obviously you have to define all the value within the parentheses please note sometime not always eval does not work in the python shell at that time you can run it through the script also sometime python shell is driven on the version of the python eval can uh, not work on the python shell for this one you have to go to the script you have to make a new file then you write this eval function and it will be work okay so i hope all of you understand our today's class om namah shivaya students